and I started coming down with these symptoms. Tina Anderson had COVID in the spring. It's a journey of up and down. She ended up in the hospital. One week it was I was gasping for air. Months later, she realized her symptoms weren't going away and she was experiencing long hauler issues. In August was like, something's not right with me. I lost the quality of my life. I was going to bed like 5.36 every night. Tina's case is that of a post-COVID syndrome. Dr. Oliemi Osiemi is an infectious disease specialist in West Palm Beach. He says some people who get COVID recover fully. Others have lingering symptoms. Which may include uh, brain fog, uh, may include being tired all the time. Uh, again, kind of sensation of feeling short of breath when they exert themselves. And uh, it can be really disturbing. He's using hyperbaric oxygen chambers to treat some of these issues. We started looking at people who actually recover from COVID but still have the symptoms. How can we utilize hyperbaric to help those folks? All in an effort to improve their quality of life. We don't treat patients who have active COVID because those patients tend to be in the hospital. We treat patients after they recover from COVID and they're still having symptoms that doesn't seem to want to go away. Tina says she was exhausted with chronic headaches. I had heart palpitations and I always called it COVID hell because that's what I felt like I was going through. Dr. Osiemi says she's not alone. It's almost like a hurricane. The hurricane comes and swoops through the area and storm rain now, after the hurricane is gone, there's a lot of damage left behind. You have to clean up after the fact. So that's the same way as, as COVID, post-COVID. So you have the COVID infection, you're sick, you have fever. You have, that goes away, but the damage is done to your body remains behind. And that requires to clean up, to be cleaned up. Tina says she was fearful of the chamber, but liked that it's clear to help with claustrophobia. Just hoping that it would give me my life back. And the thing is, I'm back. And... It saved my life. Here's how the doctor says it works. When you and I will breathe oxygen, uh, about 21 percent uh, uh, of oxygen on uh, room air. Uh, when you get in the chamber, we expose you to 100 percent of oxygen. Going on to say the chamber is pressurized and oxygen is then utilized to stop the cascade of damage left behind by COVID, helping in the healing process. So basically using the pressure to force the oxygen into your tissues. The ultimate goal is not to do this for the rest of your life, but rather to improve symptoms. Don't just sit at home and just accept that as being normal. There are things that can be done to improve your life. And it's been the best thing for my life and it gave me my life back. For more information on whether or not this is an effective treatment option for you, you should contact your medical professional and talk it through. Tori Dunnan, WPTV, News Channel 5.